Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to look at the Creo Transformer Starscream, set number 30667. This is one of those Transformer sets that really doesn't transform. That's right, it's really a two-in-one set. You get this really cool jet, and then you get this big, tall Transformer guy. This review is going to be about the really cool jet. And then later on, I'll do another review about this big Transformer guy, because really these are two separate units. They're two separate items. They don't transform. As you should already know by now, I am not a fan of the Creo Transformer sets because they don't transform. It even says right here on the box, product shown in fantasy situation. Product does not convert. What's up with that? It doesn't transform. It's a transformer. It's really only a two-in-one set. It's kind of a bummer. I know. But that aside, it makes a really cool jet and that's why I really got this set. Oh, and this set also comes with two Creons, and I'm not really a fan of the Creons, well, until I did the Battleship review, and if you guys have seen that video, I started saying, hey, I'm starting to like the Creons, so maybe it's just the Transformer Creons I'm not a fan of. Now, before I get too much farther on this review, I want to also say, not only am I not really a fan of the Transformers, I'm not really a fan of the high prices. The price on these is pretty much what LEGO would charge for something like this. This I have seen for between $31 and $36, but I got this on sale for $22, and that's what made me buy it. Well, that and the really cool jet it makes. So at $33, this set is a flop, but at $22, this set is a thumbs up buy. All right, now let's get down to the specifics. This set has 316 pieces, and you don't use every single piece in each of the builds. So when you build one of these, you're going to have some extra pieces. Not a problem. You can always use extra pieces. This comes with two Creons. It comes with a pilot for the jet fighter, and it comes with a little Starscream guy with his little jet pack, and that is pretty neat. So far, I have only built the jet fighter. I have not built the big Transformer guy, so I can't speak for the big Transformer guy's quality. But as for the Jet Fighter, it is one of those sets that looks really cool, but every time you touch it, things want to fall off. Now, not main things. These bombs that are underneath the wings, you bump them, they'll fall off. The little nose piece, that'll fall off. The cockpit, which the Creon fits very neatly there in there so we can fly the jet. The problem is it's a pain to open and close the cockpit, and that keeps wanting to fall off. Since I've already told you the things that I really don't like about this set, let me tell you what I do like. Number one, it is really cool looking. Number two, it has landing gear. Some of the jets that I've reviewed in the past have landing gear. Some do not. This one does, and that is definitely a plus. The instructions were easy to follow, but once again, we're up against that same problem that I have with the Mega Block sets, and that is sometimes the coloring on the instructions isn't quite exactly the coloring of the bricks, and sometimes it's confusing. I've mentioned in a different video, they should also number the colors to make it easier for all of us. So the bottom line here is it's a really cool set if you can get it for a good price. Full price for this set, it really isn't worth it, unless you're a big Transformer fan. I've said that in the past. I am not a Transformer fan. I never understood that. It's just not my thing. I don't get it. Maybe you do. That's fine. If you love Transformers, you're probably going to like this set. Because, hey, I'm not even a Transformer fan, and I thought this set was cool enough. And for those of you keeping track, components were made in Korea and China, and this was packaged in China. All right, so let's do the drop test. If you have seen my 4-Jet comparison, you already know how this is going to turn out. But if you haven't watched that video yet, go check it out or watch the drop test here. Remember, we take this unit four feet above the table and just let her drop. And where the pieces fall, that's where they fall. Ouch! That's got to hurt. There is nothing left of this set. It is amazing that there are so many pieces in this set. This is just about a total rebuild. All right, that's it for today. What do you think? This Creo Transformer set that doesn't transform, it's sort of cool. It's made by Hasbro. Well, it really isn't made by Hasbro. It's made by Oxford Bricks, who makes it for Hasbro, and then Hasbro puts their name on it. If you like Transformers, you'll probably like this set. If you don't like Transformers, well, if you like Jets, you still might like this set. What do you think? Have you built a Creo set yet? Are you leery about them? Are you afraid of them? What's your opinion on this? At first, I didn't like Creo because they cost so much, but now that I am building some Creos, some are okay, some aren't okay. There is a wide variety of quality. The Creo Battleship was really good quality. This is only so-so quality, but I guess it depends if you're a Transformer fan or not. I'm not. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section, and as always, thanks for watching.
Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.